Hey everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas and I'm going to do a flip cup. Three flip cups on this. And let's go over my paints. My first color is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. My next color is a combination of Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Orange Hue and Amsterdam Vermilion. My next color is Amsterdam Carmine. Very pretty red color. My next color is Liquitex Basics light olive green. My next color is Liquitex Basics Cerulean Blue. And my last color is a combination of Liquitex Basics Hooker's Green and Artist Loft Metallic Black. I just added a little dollop of that black. I wanted to darken that green color up a little bit and I do have the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White as you can see I've put a thin layer down on my edges and around around the whole canvas. My pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800 and about a teaspoon of the um, gloss medium and varnish by Liquitex. So let's get started filling the cups and it's going to be a flip cup and I might lip it. So a flip and lip, we'll just have to see how it goes. And I'm just going to start with some white. And I figure I'll have to fill the cups maybe like half full, a little more than that. And I'm just going to vary the colors as I pour them in. I did not add any silicone here today. And I'm just going to be mixing the paints up quite a bit here. Just using some basic colors, as you can see. And I am hoping that all these colors just play so nice with each other that I don't have any problems. And I will add some more of the white. And we'll just layer some more colors in. Use all my blue up. 
Hope you're all doing well today. Finding things to keep busy if you are quarantined. I know our state is quarantined until the end of the month, till the end of um, April. I like these flip cups because you just you just never know what you're going going to have in the end. One thing I was going to ask, I'm having trouble finding a true orange, a true orange color. So in the comments, if you could leave me what you use for orange, and if you're happy with it, I'd greatly appreciate that. Sometimes I have trouble too finding a really, really true deep, deep red. And I think that Grumbacher makes a deep red, but again, if you have a red that you you found that you really really enjoy using and it's a nice deep red could you let me know on that also information that's always good to have and to share it looks like i'm going to use all my paints today and i'm sure i'll have plenty of paint And I will end with the white. There's just a little bit of the white left. So we'll just add it on top here. Okay. Now we're just going to flip these over and let them sit a little bit. Okay, let's do the flip. Whoa, that's very colorful. Very pretty. And I'll just put my excess on the corners here to help the paint flow. I may just lip it a little bit in here. And my third one. Looks like I got a lot, a lot of green in this cup. I'm going to, again, lip it through a little bit. And I think I will torch before I start tipping. Okay, and I think what I'm going to do to start is to turn my canvas this way. I'm 
I'm just going to start by maybe backward and forward movement here. Again, I have plenty of paint on my canvas. And I'll go down over this corner and bring it back. And go down a little bit. Then I'll get this corner over here and bring it back. And I'll turn my canvas around again. Okay. Just going to bring it straight down to start. Bring it back a little bit here, over the edge there. And bring it down this way a little, over the edge. And I'll get over this corner and bring it back. And I will get this corner and bring it back. And I'm just going to take a look at it. Okay. What I'm going to do is just tip it a little way down this way. And then I'm going to bring it back. Turn it this way. And you'll have to excuse me if you're out of frame here. Just going to try and bring it down a little bit more this way. Just going to try and take a little bit of that green off. Stretch the paint out a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to bring it back. Take another look now. Just going to tip this way a little bit and then tip back a little bit again. Take another look. I am pretty happy with this painting. I'll clean off the bottom here. I'll check the edges and the corners.
seems like all the colors that I had in this painting came up. Nothing really got hidden. And I'm going to torch it one more time. Okay, the only thing I don't like is I have two of these little, what they call caterpillars, and what I'm going to do is just get rid of those. Just going to use my skewer and, and hide those a little bit. And I really don't think I see, not really, not, not anymore. Pretty happy with the rest of it. Okay, gonna get you down for a close up. And this is a 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas that I did a flip and lip on. And here is the upper left hand corner. And I will tell you the areas I like. I like that the paint is so muted in this area. It has little cells coming up. And I do like that this orange peeked through on the edge here. And then some of the stripes stayed uh, pretty crisp. Some cute little cells. This is the lower left hand corner. And then I'll bring you up the middle. I'll bring you up right here because I think this is so pretty in here. Just very vibrant. Very, very uh, cool stripes here with all those colors in there. Hopefully you can see all that. And then I'll take you all the way over to the right hand top corner here and bring you down it's pretty in there too there's some pretty cells there and i like the orange here like how that turned out down here that's very nice this is the lower right hand corner so this painting has a lot going on for it so let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it make sure you ring the bell choose all so you know the next time that i do post a new video and subscribe if you haven't. I'd appreciate that. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.